guys, Alex here from AlexFigures.com and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing quick look at the new Juve Go 2.0. This is the second generation handheld battery powered and also uh, cable AC powered um, red light therapy device by Juve. There are a few battery powered handheld red light therapy devices on the market now, though I believe Juve was the first to release a battery powered uh, device with their Juve Go version 1. Uh, so this was released a couple of months ago and it has just arrived now. I ordered it the day it came out, uh, or pre-ordered it, sorry. So I'm going to open it up, have a quick look at it, reveal my first impressions, um, turn it on, see how it goes, and um, yeah, just run through the key features, key differences from the first gen product. And later on I will do an in-depth review and also a big handheld comparison series where I look at all the handheld red light therapy devices on the market and help you make an informed decision finding the best one for your needs. Alright, let's open the box up and see what we've got inside. So straight away you can see, if you're familiar with the original Juve Go, uh, we've got a new design with a neat little strap, handheld strap on the top. Uh, packaging, we have our user manual. They always come with nice manuals. Juve products, lots of technical information, um, how to use it, how to set it up, different modes, charging. To be honest, it's all pretty uh, straightforward. So here we've got the travel case, the carry strap. It's quite a solid case, some protection in there. You know, you could easily put that in your suitcase and know it's going to be safe. Um, got quite a strong. And here we go. Oh wow. So, yeah, I mean the case is a, it's quite a large case for the device that's in it. You have, we'll get to the power cable with the charging point. Unfortunately that plug's not going to work here in New Zealand. And it's not a Juve branded plug as well, which I always think is a little bit cheap when you see that. Um, anyway, it's quite often with these red light panels. So we've got, what's that, 12 LEDs on there. This uses a combination of 660 and 850 nanometer light. Uh, these are classed as multi-die LEDs, so I believe that means each um, LED can emit both red and near-infrared light, two different wavelengths, so it's a, a slight advancement um, with these devices. 12 LEDs are 6 inches, just under 6 inches across, just under 4 inches high, um, one and a half inch thick. It's it's small. It's a, it's smaller than the Generation One Juve, which I have lying around somewhere, and I will be doing a comparison with that as well. So for those of you who have the Generation One, you might be wondering if you should upgrade. Um, be sure to subscribe to keep an eye out for that video. We have a nice I don't know what material that is, silicon plasticky type carry handle, which feels quite solid. Looks like you can take that off if you wanted to. Uh, on the side we have what looks like a power indicator light, a power button, um, and on this side, Bluetooth button. On the bottom we have our charging point. That is a connector for the docking stand, which I don't have, but it is very looks very cool. And that is a service plug, which I'm not going to break off because it looks like it's mounted on there. Um, so, yeah, I mean... Neat device, nice size, great for spot treatment, you know, you saw wrist, saw elbow, saw knee. Great if you're an athlete, you pack it in your gym bag or if you're taking it away to events. Um, cool that it comes with the case, though I kind of think now the case is maybe a little bit too big for what it is. I think this could have been made a little bit slimmer, smaller, and it could have tucked into a smaller case. So that's just my, uh, it's nice that it comes with the case though. It also came with eye protection glasses these here which I just opened up and these are as you can see green lens so they block about 95% of the red light which you can see on here 93% uh, red light and 43% of the near infrared light one year warranty uh, 1.3 pounds so not to, again it feels lighter and less bulky than the other one nice new design you know, rounded corners a little bit of plastic in here the previous one was all metal so that's cool. Still feels solid though. Um, you know, I'm sure I could drop it from a foot or so and it would be fine. I'm not going to test that though. Uh, and running through some of the specs, 
Battery is meant to last about two hours. I'll test that and cover that in my full review in the coming weeks. Takes about five to six hours to fully charge up. Um, one year warranty, built in Bluetooth like we saw. Uh, it has the Pulse Recovery Plus mode, which is Pulse uh, near infrared light. I'm not too sure if the red light is also Pulse. Something I'm still getting my head around, uh, Juve claim it helps with um, recovery. And it comes with ambient mode, which is a low power setting, um, so you can light up the room, which I think will be pretty cool with this because on the Juve Solo, it was even at 25%, it's still the, the fans are still wearing and it's still very, very bright. The new LEDs, which I was talking about before, this is a quote from the Juve website, have great, they said they've redefined or uh, enhanced the optics of the LEDs, and in turn, that has greater power output uses less consumption which is great for a battery powered device and has four times the treatment distance and better balanced light distribution again that's a quote from or not word by word but that's coming from the juve website i don't know too much about that yet i will look into that and be sure to cover it in my full review uh it turns out solid blue which is what's on there now means that the battery is 60 to 100 percent charged if it's orange we're down to 20 to 60 percent flashing orange is 20 percent and um, green, it has been powered by the charger. So it was fully charged. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't get it working. Turns out to turn it on, you just press the button once to wake it up and then again to um, start the device up. It's a little bit, it was a little bit strange uh, trying to figure out how to get it going. So it's on now and I'm gonna press the power button and there we go. So as you can see, all lights are red, whereas Previously, uh, the actually that's the other thing with the other Juve Go, you could choose between 660 or 850. You couldn't have the combination of both, which I always thought was a bit of a bummer because you know you had to pick or choose, and you know you ideally you want both. So this one, obviously with the new LEDs, um, you got 850 and 660 in the same LEDs, which is neat. But it looks like all of them are glowing. Uh, well, all of them are glowing. Um, I'll, I'll test it later on to test for the 850 nanometers. Uh, so there's no fan in this, it is super silent, which is neat. Um, I do wonder though if the power is less in this. Again, I'll be testing all this in the full review. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, it's a cool device. Like you can spot treat different areas, shoulders, knees, great for traveling. Uh, and yeah, it'll be good for lighting up a room. Especially because there's no fans. That's why I don't like the Juve Solo, the ambient mode. So speaking of ambient mode, let's um, turn this off and sync it up with the iPhone and see uh, how it performs. Okay, so one button doesn't, one press doesn't turn it off. Though it is getting darker. All right, it's got the dim on, dim off mode. I don't know about that. I, yeah, anyway, I, I, it makes sense when you turn it on to slowly build up so your eye levels change. But um, personally, I kind of want to, press the power button and know that it just turns off. Uh, and I've also pulled up the manual here because I wanted to check, as you can see, there's only two buttons, the power button and the Bluetooth button. So I didn't know how you can select between red and near infrared and the recovery mode and ambient mode. I assume you have to do it uh, through the app. Yeah, everything has to be done through the app, which is, which is what I thought. I, it's not end of the world, but, um, you know, if, so for instance, I can't adjust the session time. By default, it's 10 minutes in here. All right, so I've opened up the uh, Juve app here. Now I've used this before to connect with my Juve Solo. So you had to set up an account. Now what I'm gonna do is add a device. So peer device, continue. It's already picked up the Juve Go there. So go connect. Okay, that's done. All right, so now in here, I can change settings. So I've got the timer, I can change it from one minute to 10. So it only goes to 10, unlike the solo, which goes up to 20. Uh, here I can choose between infrared, infrared and red, red or ambient. So we'll go both of them for now. Uh, and then I can enable or disable the pulsing function, um, which is just a simple clip. Again, it would be nice to be able to do this on the unit, but I understand that it's not the case. Um, We've got battery indicator on the left side there, so it's fully charged. Alarm clock. Actually, I forgot to mention this. It's got a built-in alarm clock. I could set my wake-up time to 7.30 a.m. and choose the light intensity, and I'm assuming at that time it will slowly turn on and wake you up. 
again i'll check this out and i'll test it in the full review which will be released in a couple of weeks uh, so i'm going to leave that off um, so let's just hit start now and there we go it starts up boom and you see the timer doesn't start right away because it slowly builds up in intensity it takes about five ten seconds maybe 10 seconds there we go now it's at full intensity and it's counting down now if i hit stop it takes the same 10 seconds to drop down in intensity shows some data about how many sessions i've done and oh, some neat little stats on there which is which is cool so yeah and then let's quickly test the ambient mode we'll go ambient we'll start that and it's still quite bright but it's it's neat i mean it's going to light up a room quite easily even at the 25% setting. These LEDs, these LEDs are very, very bright. That's why they work so well. Based on my first impressions with this over the last 10, 15 minutes, I will say though that it's not super user-friendly straight out of the box. You are going to have to read the manual and um, figure out how to enable different settings and different modes and different features. And that's not a bad thing. Uh, this is just coming from someone who has played with dozens of red light panels and, and products over the years. And you kind of get familiar with how things work and, and how to enable things. and. And all that but Juve have obviously incorporated some new features and innovations in this and um, I just need to get used to it so it's it's not a bad thing and if you are spending four or five hundred bucks on a device such as this it probably doesn't hurt to read the manual though I will say and again if you've seen my Juve solo first impression unboxing video um, I, I think I do prefer buttons on the device like so for instance I can't ch change between 660 850 nanometers or the ambient light setting or I can't change the uh, session duration or that beep that you heard you can enable the beep to beep it every two minutes or halfway or at the end I can't change anything any of that without the phone and without turning Bluetooth on now some people might not like the idea of a Bluetooth transmitting device you know they're trying to decrease their um, EMF exposure that's cool uh, so that's a downside for those people but secondly it means your voice got to have your phone to sync it up and you know if you wanted to use it for ambient light in the background and in your room uh and then you want to use it for a session and then you just want to use it for five minute session i don't know you've always got to have your phone and sync it up now i'm wondering if that beep was actually the unit turning off because i noticed the lights now have gone off so in theory i should press this once yep the lights have come back on so that's in standby mode and if i press it again it turns on and of course to turn it off and this is where it gets a little bit confusing if I press it again, it should start dropping down in intensity and eventually slow off. I don't like that. It should turn off straight away. So there we go. That is the Juve Go 3.0, the brand new battery powered red light therapy device from Juve. Neat, neat concept. Uh, very impressed with the new design. New features are powerful though accessing them requires the phone, which is a bit annoying. Um, 10 minute session time built in, uses both 660 and 850 nanometer light, which is great comes in at about 450 US dollars that's a lot of money um, that doesn't include a dock if you get the dock it's an extra hundred dollars and you get a charging dock slash stand I think I'll go and order that because I think it will be cool to use and I will use that for my full review which will be published in a couple weeks time be sure to hit subscribe like if you have any questions comments leave them below check out my other red light therapy videos and uh, yeah stay tuned for my handheld battery powered handheld device wrap up where I compare all of the handheld devices um, from other manufacturers as well, so it will help you make an informed deci decision if you're going to buy one of these. Uh, until then, bye.